if we have two strat two uh, matrices A and B, and if we have two strategies, one for the row player sigma R and one for the column player sigma C, we can actually write out the expected utility mathematically. So uh, the expected utility to the players is just a probability distribution over their matrices. So we can write out that U R, the utility to the row player, when the column players, the row players playing sigma R and the column player is playing sigma C is going to be this double sum. So sum over I equals one to M, that's assuming that A is a matrix of with M rows. B also has to be a matrix of M rows. And uh, I, uh, let me go to J here. And J equals one to N. Here I'm assuming B is a matrix with N columns and A is a matrix with N columns. And it's A, I, J, sigma, R, I, sigma, C, J. And then likewise, the utility of the column player is going to be the exact same thing, except for one little difference. So we're going to have that same sum because the strategies just tell us the outcomes, which scenario we end up being in. Sigma, R, I, sigma, R, J. That means that, that this is the probability of the row player selecting uh, action I and the column player selecting uh, column uh, J. Let me just fix this slightly to be uh, more clearly a, a C. But the only difference is that what the, the column player gets is given by matrix B, I, J. And so that's how we'd make a utility calculation um, given uh, these things uh, with the assumption that I, I should have said that that is an element of uh, a real matrix with M rows and N columns. And likewise, this is a matrix with M rows and N columns. Uh, that's how a utility calculation would be done. So as an example, um, if we consider rock, paper, scissors, in which the game was A equals, um, and uh, we had zeros down the diagonal, uh, rock, paper, scissors, rock loses to paper, beats scissors, um, paper uh, beats rock, loses to scissors, and the last elements are given like that, and B was just minus A. If we have this, and we have the following strategies, which are, Sigma R equals uh, a third, zero, two thirds, and Sigma C equals a third, a third, a third. What is the expected utility? And so in this particular case, what we we have is everything is is given with what we have on 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 the board there. And the calculations can be done uh, by applying these formula. We can also look at it for a little bit and we see we're never ever gonna be in this row. This row is never happening because we have a, a zero there. And so a third of the time, we're gonna be in that row. That's what that a third says. Two thirds of the time, we're gonna be in that row. And then we're gonna be in every column an equal amount of time. And so we can write out what this calculation will will be, we can say U R sigma R sigma C is equal to a third multiplied by, and I'll have some brackets here because this is the third of the time we're in the first row. So the third of the time in the first row, we get a zero a third of the time plus minus one a third of the time plus one a third of the time. And then we're gonna have zero times whatever happens in second row, we could just omit it, we could write it out, and we're gonna have plus two thirds uh, what happens in that third row, which is um, minus one a third of the time, um, plus one a third of the time, and plus zero a third of the time. And if you look at that, you can see actually that, that this is zero and, and this is zero. Let me just close my bracket because that's bothering me slightly. Ooh, and I see I've gone off the bottom of the screen. Sorry for that. Uh, that's what I wrote down there. And if we go ahead and write that out, we'll see that that comes to zero. Now, 
because it's a zero sum game, we could automatically realize that the column player's utilities are also zero. And I, I will just write that uh, there, that it's also zero. And you can see that by the fact that we'd have the exact same sum, except that would be a one, that would be a minus one, that would be a one, and that would be a minus one. But you could go through a bit more slowly and get that done. And that's how we could calculate for given strategies, what are the expected utilities of players.